they haven't seen Harry Potter. Is that normal or a red flag? Oh, that's that's we ha that has to be normal. That we we should normalize not seeing Harry Potter. Now, now I'm not saying it's good. I'm also not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it cannot be. I refuse to allow that to be a red flag. I would wonder like are they okay? When someone buys their current partner the same fragrance as their ex, is that normal or a red flag? I would keep it in mind. I think it's like, is it, it's like a, it's like a, you're pushing it, the next one you're gonna get carded. Like, you're definitely pushing it. It's one of those things that in the context later, when it all goes wrong, you're like, that should have been a red flag, I should have seen that. It is the sort of thing Joe would do. Yeah, totally, yeah, he's not. Oh yeah, fully. <laughs> that is a huge red flag. Like what? That means that he had to let go. Like, or they haven't let go. Like that means that they're like holding on to something secretly and like, yeah, no, huge red flag. What? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I am I am totally with you. It's that is a very Joe Goldberg thing to do, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a red flag. <laughs> No, I think that's a red flag. Like, smells do take you back, and so yeah, I think that's a red flag. When someone says they think Joe Goldberg is hot, is that normal or a red flag? Red flag. Ken Badgley is hot, Joe Goldberg is not. Like, that's what you have to remember. Like, don't let your mind, like, be tricked by the face that you're looking at. Like, you have to pay attention to, like, those are two different people, and the things that Joe's does are huge red flags. Huge. Like, yeah, red. Red flag. He's a psycho! Like, <laughs> come on! If we're just judging purely on as if they're if they've not heard or seen anything he's done, they're allowed to think that. That can't be a red flag. I have thrown the red flag before as a, you know, a cultural referee. But I think I think now I've I've seen the VAR. And I and I think I have to I have to concede that it that, that it alone cannot be a red flag. Yeah, I think that's normal. He's 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 charming. That's why you root for him. That's why you root for him. We do. <laughs> he's a serial killer. I know, but you know, we people still keep wanting more. People keep coming back and watching to see what he does next. So you know, when someone says they haven't seen Harry Potter. Is that normal or a red flag? Oh, that's that's we ha that has to be normal. That we we should normalize not seeing Harry Potter. Now, now I'm not saying it's good. I'm also not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it cannot be. I refuse to allow that to be a red flag. I would wonder like are they okay? You know, like where did they grow up? Um, but see then that would be refreshing because it would imply that they haven't grown up somewhere in the west. Yeah, I mean, I'm not lying. I was watching Harry Potter earlier whilst working, so bit, bit of a red flag for me. <laughs> yeah, fair. It can be a red flag for others. It can be, but it's not for me. I think it's like sort of a red flag, though. Like I give half of a pass because like I have met, I've made friends recently that like have never seen Harry Potter, which I'm like, did you have a childhood? Like what? Like that's so that's why it's a red flag to me because i'm like what did you do in your childhood if you did not see harry potter or read it like you have no knowledge of harry potter that's a little iffy to me, so <laughs> that's normal i haven't seen harry potter i know i know seriously i know i'll, I'll dedicate one weekend and i'll get through them one day but yeah i i usually watch things about 20 years late anyway like Genuinely, I do. So that I, I've no, I watch a show and I've got no one to talk to about it because it's I'm 20 years too late. So there will come a day, but yeah, I, I think that's normal. That's all right. When someone wants to know your star sign and checks if you're compatible, it's normal, but I would call it a red flag. <laughs> Definitely. Why is that a red flag? I just think we, you know, people invest. Rarely does anyone do that when they actually study astrology like I think I think it's too it's too people are rigidly adhering to a system they don't even understand I mean like I'm Sagittarius and I have no idea who I'm compatible with yeah right it's also like there's so many people so many people yeah I think again it's normal but it's a red flag for me 
I think that's normal as long as you don't look too, too deeply into it because that is something I would do, like, and I would check, but I wouldn't let it put me off. So I think it's normal as long as you're not, you're not looking too deep into it, you know? I feel like unfortunately it's become more, more normal. Like, I mean, I think there's different ways to do it. Like, don't let that be the first, like, I know when like people ask me like that as the first question, I'm like, like, but that doesn't define everything. Like, I can't tell you, like, people have a, one, people have a full natal chart, which will tell you much more information than just their sun sign. But two, like, it's like, those are, like, that's also, they could also be wrong. Like, you know, like, and I think that compa compatibility is something that is earned and worked for. Um, so, yeah, maybe a bit of a red flag with that one. Yeah. When someone won't show you their basement, is that normal or a red flag? <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, how hard am I asking and how hard are they denying? They're like, no, no, I'm not letting you down there. No. And why do I want to see it so badly? I would say it's a red flag. That's also a red flag. Like, it's one thing if you're like, oh, it's messy, but it's like, especially like, if you've been seeing them for a while, it's like, okay, like, well, okay, it's messy. Like, I don't care. I just want to see it. But if they're like being super cagey about it, that's a red flag, bro. Like, what do you, what have you got down there? Like, what, what are you trying to hide here? Like, yeah, red flags, red flags. Big red flags. Um, also a bit of a red flag for the person asking it as well, because that's a bit of a weird question. That is it's fair, true, true. Like, though, can I see what's in your basement? I mean, or is it, is that because like, you know, we should keep out for things like this and we're living in a, you know, very chaotic age. Like, is that a normal question that, you know, like people should ask just in case? <laughs> like, can I just peek at your basement? I just want to make sure it's all good down there. When someone in their mid twenties or older still lives with their parents, is that normal or a red flag? Really depends on the country. So in 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 uh, in England or America, I would say it's contextual. Post COVID, super contextual. Can't be a red flag anymore. No, true. And times are hard at the moment. So. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. This idea that you just need to be living independently and can be and should be. I don't know. We got to question that. So so yeah. Years ago, I probably would have said, oh, red flag. Yeah, I'm, uh, but not now. I don't. I don't. I won't fault people for that. I think that it depends on circumstance. Um, and particularly in some households, like within the Korean household, you're expected to live with your parents because it's your job to take care of them um, once they get into older age. So that's it's very normal um, in certain yeah. cultures. I think that's fine. Yeah. I mean. If I, I've got loads of brothers and sisters, but if I didn't, yeah, lovely, save your money. That's fine. <laughs> exactly. Times are hard at the moment. I feel bad asking that one because, yeah, tough times. Yeah, live at home. Why not? When someone calls their parents mummy and daddy, is that normal or a red flag? I think it depends on, like, how they do it. Because it's like, I still call, like, my parents mommy and daddy, but, like, I don't be like, mommy, can you, like do this for like I mean I guess sometimes I turn into a little kid again because I love my mommy but I think it depends on the what kind of relationship there is because if it's a if the if the person still has a is calling them mommy and daddy because they have a, an arrested development situation or they have like a codependency with their parents that's a red flag big red flag so I still say mommy and daddy so no it's not a red flag like just make sure that they've got a healthy relationship with their parents. It's not any weird. I think it's a little bit different here in America. The people I've known who call their parents mommy and daddy, it's actually very sweet. It's very sweet. I think it just depends on your relationship with your parents, which by the way, you want to talk about red flags, like that's where you go. That's where you go to discover what should and shouldn't be a red flag. Um, mommy and daddy alone, no, it's not enough. It's not enough. It's like, oh, I'm paying attention and I'm interested in where that one goes, but it's not yet a red flag. The whole daddy thing has kind of thrown that like massively. Oh yeah, I didn't even think of that. I think it's, it's weird if you only call one parent though that. Like if you're called dad, dad, and mom is mommy, that's, that's, that's a red flag, <laughs> I think. <laughs> or if you just call mom, mom, and dad, daddy, that's, yeah, that's a definite red flag. Uh, it depends. One of my best friends does that. Um, uh, <laughs> 
And yeah, I'm going to say red flag. There comes a time when you just, you just got to stop. You got to stop doing that, I think. How old is your friend? He's 25. Yeah, no, <laughs> When someone wears socks to bed. I don't know, I feel like there's a mixed realm of thought about around this, like, because I've heard, uh, I don't even know if I can say that, because I've heard that socks in bed do well in certain ways, wink, wink. Um, so like, I don't know, I don't know if like, if like, you know, it depends on, I don't know. Like, I think it's weird. I personally think it's a red flag. Like, because I'm like, does, doesn't it feel like for me wearing socks in bed is a f weird feeling. Like it's cover on cover. It's, I don't know. But I, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm in the middle on that one. I think that it's <laughs> their own. If it's winter, that's fine. If it's summer, red, red flag, I would say. <laughs> How about if, like, it's winter, but you're in bed with someone? No, take your socks off. No, that is a red flag. Um, it's not normal, but it's not a red flag. It's weird to me. But I wouldn't flag you for it. Again, I'm interested. I'm like, oh, why? I just want to know why. When a man in his 20s sleeps in a single bed. I haven't thought of that. It is small, right? It is. Um, I mean, but it's all contextual because it's like, what can they afford? And we don't want to judge people based on what they're making, even though that's what we do culturally. Um, I know. I don't think it's fair to, I, again, fully contextual, like, how are they making ends meet? What have they been through? Uh, if you want to sleep in that bed with said man, well, you're going to discover some problems, and it might be a red flag for you. But it's not yeah. for me. <laughs> I think that it's a red flag to a certain extent. Well, uh, see, I'm always, I'm, I'm always shattered, like, benefit of the doubt person. Because on one hand, I do think that it's a red flag, that it's like, especially if he's in his, like, late 20s, like, it's like, bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, do you, like, and no shade, like, you know, just like, if a guy in his like later 20s is sleeping in a single bed because he's just not doing anything with his life, like that's a problem, that's a red flag. Like that, there's maturity issues there. Um, but if it's that like, you know, he's living under his means because he's trying to save his money to like build generational wealth, like, yes, we love that. Um, so I, <laughs> I think it depends, you know, on context. Like, give me, I need more context. Oh, oh no, I think that's normal. I think that's normal. Yeah, I think that's normal. That's normal behavior. Yeah, I think that's normal behavior. <laughs> behavior, yes. <laughs> when someone is obsessed with their car, is that normal or a red flag? I think it's normal, but I think it's a red flag. Contextual, if you're a driver, if you are a driver, actually, then you know, then hey, it's it's your it's part of your job. And it's good to take, it's good to take pride in the things that you own, to keep them clean and stuff. Which, by the way, with my car, I do not do. It's because uh, I, I don't invest myself in cars. I'll go ahead and say you're put. You, it depends. It depends on the context because if you're a total bro, you know, then it's a it's a red flag. Contextual red flag. So the way I'm seeing it is like the Facebook profile, them and a car. Yeah, to me it's like, listen, you do you, but that's not me. That's not I'm I'm if I'm interested in you and I'm trying to no, I'm not swiping. I think it's normal. I've just bought a car, can't drive it yet, because I have failed my driving test three times. But I'm obsessed with my car because I'm like, I bought that. That's my car. I love it. Um and I'm probably gonna be more um obsessed with that when I finally pass, if that happens. <laughs> when someone says they're not on social media. I think nowadays it's becoming more normal. So it's not a red flag anymore. I, I remember people used to feel like it was a red flag and it, there was this joke around Joe. I think the social media has become so intense now in a lot of ways. We know it is, like we just know it is, how toxic it can be. I think now it's kind of refreshing, personally. I, I feel like in a weird way, Joe may have helped that become a bit normal. Like it's, right. it's quite good if you're not on social media. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really, really. Because I think social media is just a, it's a, it's a lot. Hello. No. No, I am not interested. Nope. Not interested. 
I don't want to know. Oi! Where did you go? Why does the universe keep doing this to me? Hey, what's going on? I'm Kevin Hart. Hi, my name's Eric Stone Street. Hi, I'm Margo. I'm Journey. I'm James McAvoy. I'm Daniel Radcliffe. I'm Rebel Wilson. I'm Jeremy Clarkson. I'm going to be translating some Scottish tweets for It's Gone Viral. On It's Gone Viral. Ooh. On It's Gone Viral.